What is Wodan Timber Coaster? Wodan Timber Coaster, often referred to as just Woden in English, is a wooden roller coaster located at Europa Park in Rust, Germany. The ride, which opened to the public as one of Europe's tallest and fastest wooden coasters, was the first non steel roller coaster to be built at the park. On top of this, the attraction, manufactured by American company Great Coasters International, became only the second roller coaster at the park not constructed by Mack Rides. Woden itself lies within the Iceland section of Europa Park, nearby the likes of Blue Fire Mega Coaster and Atlantica Super Splash. The ride, which opened to the public on the 31st of March 2012, was built at the cost of 10 million euros. Like many of the attractions at the park, Woden is heavily themed. The ride features a well-established theme of Norse mythology, which can be seen from the structures around the attraction, as well as in the detailed story told within its queue line and even its name. The name Woden is German for the Nordic deity Odin, while Timber naturally translates to timber or wood in Icelandic. Therefore, in English, the ride's full name reads Odin Wood Coaster. A ride on Woden begins with guests navigating the attraction's plaza. Riders pass through a large entrance gate flanked by two large Vikings. At this point, guests are said to be in the Viking village of Midgard. Riders then enter the queue line of the attraction and begin their journey through five areas of Norse mythology. At first, guests see Yggdrasil, the world tree that connects the entire cosmos. They then enter a tunnel and pass through the underground dwarf kingdom of Swartz Albinheim. Riders navigate back outdoors to the territory of the goddess Hel, who is both half dead and half alive. A large statue of Hel, featuring a working hourglass, can be found adjacent to the queue line. Guests then pass through the icy kingdom of Niflheim to the north and into the fire realm of Muspelsheim to the south. At this point, riders encounter Nidthogger, the serpent-like dragon which inhabits the world tree Yggdrasil. In the final scene, guests experience the giant Mirmir, guarding the spring of Mirmir located at the foot of Yggdrasil. Riders' queue line journey comes to an end at the Rainbow Bridge Bifrost, allowing guests to opt for a front row experience if they desire. Riders then board one of three Millennium Flyer trains, each of which seat 24 guests arranged in 12 rows of two. Moments later, they leave the station. Riders slowly navigate several twists and turns, leading to the coaster's lift hill. Guests climb 40 meters before undergoing a sharp right-hand turn into the attraction's first drop. Riders plummet down the steep drop, reaching speeds of up to 100 km per hour before climbing into an airtime hill. Guests quickly pass underneath Bluefire in a 180 degree turn, then dive down into a short tunnel. The trains then pass through the station building and enter a second large airtime hill. Several turns later, guests pass underneath and then over the drop of Atlantica Super Splash offering great interaction between the two rides. The experience Woden has to offer comes to an end with another brief tunnel, several pops of floater airtime, and a graceful turn into the ride's final brake run. Like all GCI coasters, guests travel through the attraction's maintenance shed before greeting the station building. In total, the ride experience lasts for approximately 45 seconds from the moment the train is released from the chain to when it hits the final brake run. During this time, guests navigate 1,050 meters of track on what currently remains the tallest and fastest roller coaster ever constructed by Great Coasters International. To conclude, Woden is considered by most to be a fantastic attraction. The fast-paced, fun, and airtime-filled nature of the ride is enjoyed by many, while the higher-than-usual throughput of 1,250 riders per hour helps to keep the queues moving. On top of this, the detailed theming present throughout the ride area and queue line helps to solidify the experience as a whole. In the future, would you like to see a higher number of well-themed wooden coasters be built around the world? What's your opinion? If you have Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, make sure to follow me for both updates on the channel and general theme park news. The links to the various social media can be found in the description below.